What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, uh, for those that don't know, TikTok is popping. I have took my talents over there. So um, for those that's not on TikTok, make sure y'all tap in. Clearly different comments, different algorithm, a lot of different things that y'all might enjoy. But we about to get into the Keith Williams situation. Now, <laughs> Keith Williams, girl, you can tell I'm new and not true. Keith Lee, about to get into the Keith Lee situation. Um... Y'all know Keith Lee goes around and um, he gives the Keith Lee effect. He be out here giving out a bag. He be eating food. He be telling you if it's good or not. And it's a good time. Okay. For some. And for some, not so good. A lot of people are having issues with him and how he judges things. And some people just love it. Me? I love it. You got to love honesty. Um, That's how that'll help your business. And quite frankly, if you don't want the heat, don't bring your tail self in the kitchen. All right. So we're about to get into that whole situation and I'm excited. Um, I definitely went on TikTok <laughs> and I typed in Keith Lee drama and baby, it just all came together. Okay. Um, this is Keith Lee's initial video, obviously. So we got to get into it. Let's get it. Yeah, before we even do that, let me tell TikTok what's going on. What up, TikTok? We about to get into the Keith Lee situation with the Keith Lee effect. Hold on, let me slide myself over. I, I cannot stand when that happens. Here we go. Stop playing with me. All right, here go the window capture. Sorry, YouTube. Y'all can't even see what's going on. But it's okay. No, don't play with me, man. Slide it over correctly. Okay, what about you? Okay, let's slide you again. All right, we should be good. Okay, let's get into it. Some for help and come to visit my mom's food truck to hopefully turn it around. She is an award-winning pastry chef. And she is a culinary chef. She has two degrees. We are just from Milwaukee and here in Dallas. It's kind of hard with the marketing because we don't know our way even around yet. Well, we here. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to ten. Period. Eighty dollars and eleven cents. We are in North Dallas, Texas. We in a hood. I'm not gonna say it no other way. We in a hood. They outside cutting hair, doing braids, waiting on us. Just they everything. Alive at the same time, him and his sister. But they outside ready, so we had to be double O this whole time. I'm talking about double O seven agents. It's a party out here. My cousin service, my family said it was pretty good, and it was alive the whole time, so we can kind of sound see. like it was a vibe all the time to me. That's what I got from it. Only thing is the only person cooking is the mama. So if you do come, please be patient. It's only one person here cooking. But it's a lot of people, so she got the option to have a lot of hands. I'm going to show you everything I got, and we're going to try it and ready with the tin. A pulled pork sandwich, fried ribs with french fries, jerk chicken tacos with beans and rice, and two orders of banana pudding. Is this $80 worth of food? In my opinion, no. But considering the fact that it's been slow and she has an overhead, the fact that this is a food truck and everything is made to order, I understand. We sit in the car. This Dallas weather is bipolar. It was freezing cold when we got here. It's hot right now. Can't be nothing less than 80 some degrees. I don't know why people don't ever cut on the air. Like when they doing videos like this, I'm cutting the air on. I, my first thing, y'all gonna hear a little air. That's all right. Y'all gonna hear a little air. It's all right though. Enjoy. <laughs> For real. Start with the pulled pork sandwich. It's Damn, that pork was pulling, ain't it? <laughs> as much as the bottom bun does get soggy. So this bottom bun already soggy. I hate a soggy bun. This is really good seasoned pulled pork with pickles and barbecue sauce. I wish the bun was a little more high quality. You can tell these just regular buns. Like a sweet bun on this, we'll take this over the top. But as it is, I'm not mad at that. It's nothing crazy. 7.8 out of 10. I okay. Fresh. For a sandwich to come out. Of. It's real fresh. These are deep fried ribs. And when they say deep fried. Like you can't be boy. deep fried. <laughs> I can see, but they also put sauce on it. But you can see past the sauce. Oh. Chicken fried. Hey, you see it. Damn, deep fried. Oh, I'm hungry. That's a chicken fried rib. Give me a bite. Give me. Let me taste it. Oh, I gotta wipe some of the sauce off. The What'd you wipe the sauce good, off for? I don't think it's a homemade sauce, but it's real. Oh. so don't even need the sauce to be honest with you. Mama ain't got time to make homemade sauce too. Where she got these ribs from? Mm, mm, them, them ribs is ripping. I would take a lot of the sauce off because they don't need it. The rib by itself is very flavorful. It's crispy. It's meaty. The ribs with the sauce as is. I think know, seven out of ten. But I feel like if she take this sauce off, this can be an eight and a half. Or even put the sauce. I think he just the sauce on, genuinely don't like that sauce at all. They don't need no ribs. They don't need no sauce. All that crust. Man, you better let that crust be for itself. You okay, know, let that crust like that crust. The sauce. Just how it looks. I feel like this is about to be the highlight. Them tacos is tacoing. You hear me? There's some jalapenos. There's some 
Pico de gallo look like some onions, cheese. Pico de gallo. That's an 8 out of 10. That salsa might be homemade. That salsa is good. This mm. is a chicken taco. It's a great chicken taco, though. It's seasoned. That salsa is spicy. 8.7 out of 10. If that was $8 at all, them tacos by $15, too, I know that real plate about $25. Real plate about $25. Pulled pork sandwich. Ain't no way a pulled pork sandwich $25. Ah, that's great. <laughs> oh, now she ate what that taco. 8.7. I'm going nine. Period. Now I'm very picky. Me and bite. I've, said it. I've always said that. Again, take my opinion on sweets with a grain of salt. Let me get a bite. It's cool. It's not the greatest banana pudding I've ever had, but it's better than most banana puddings I've had before. Not too sweet. Mm hmm. It is a little sweet. Uh -huh. so well, why if you try? As somebody who's not really a sweets person, I get that solid 7.3 out of 10. But I like sweet. Okay, what'd you think? I go 8.6. Period. Thing, I will say, in my opinion, the marketing does need a lot of help. There's no menu on the brother's page, on the sister's page, or the mom's page. I feel like a menu with prices should definitely be top priority. That and a website change, in my opinion. I appreciate the invite. And mama, you might need some more hands back there. No promises. It might get a little crazy. Before we left, we went and had a conversation with the mom, and we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mom prayed together, and we left a four thousand dollar tip behind. <laughs> that was amazing. She was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. Y'all look really good. So we want to leave a thousand dollars to the barber. So he said, "Leave a thousand dollars to the barber." Y'all see her face when he said the barber? We want to leave you a thousand dollars. She like, okay, gonna leave y'all a thousand, leave you a thousand. What about me? Then it's like, oh my God. Yeah. 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 Now, but, but let me let him finish. I hope you reach your target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Now, I will say, in a situation like that, you can't just put $4,000. Sorry, y'all. My background is all over the place. I don't even care. You can't put $4,000 in somebody's hand and expect them to disperse. Now, for some of y'all, I know you like, yes, you can. Obviously, he said to give that a I'm not saying that. Like, I would. I would have. Point blank, period. Uh, can you leave that? Because I, I, I would have known if I didn't and one of them would have snitched on me. Keith Lee would have said something because they said something. Who got time for that? So I would have probably gave him that $1,000 that day. Here you go, $1,000. Here you go, $1,000. Y'all hold it down. I'm going to wait for the POS system to update. But y'all straight. Child probably would have recorded and everything. But that's a mom. I don't even know if she had it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's kind of how that went. But in this situation, like, I see why it got a little sticky. Now, we about to go to, I believe this is the braider. Once again, I went through videos and I was trying to see what was best. And I was trying to figure out who was who. And she was there. So that's all I know. Okay. Well, let me tell you. So a lot of y'all know yesterday I got to meet Keith Lee. Great. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm still humbled by the experience. Like, I am ecstatic. Blessings to your family. I really appreciate you. But now this is where the downfall comes in. Okay. okay. I was on my live. When he said this, I see y'all giving out haircuts. Hey, little brother, yeah. We want to leave a thousand dollars to the barber so he can cut everybody. Oh, that's my little brother. He wants to go pick up my baby brother. Give a thousand dollars to the barber so basically he can give out free haircuts. We want to leave you a thousand dollars to the hair. We want to leave you two thousand dollars. Top of him tipping four thousand dollars, this man left an extra eight hundred and eighty-six dollars to feed everybody else that was coming. Right? Mm. Right. But this is where she went wrong. I'm in the truck, mind you. I'm a worker. This is your business, so I'm doing what you say. She tell me after this person, which is the third person, that you got to start charging again. Hmm? Black that people. No. Now, I'm not going to lie. That would have been a bit of a conflict of interest for me. Because thank you for your 4000 But if you bring in more people out here, matter of fact, no. 
<clears throat> she would have got the money from the plates. So the haircuts and the in the I see why he left money for the haircuts and the braids. Then, if that's the case, so she should have just minded her business on that one, and, and let and let them handle that. That's crazy. But okay. One thing when he say I'm leaving this for free, and for somebody to come and order like one of everything on the menu and try to get both desserts and drinks and sh like yeah, you could put a limit on that. But if this man left you almost a thousand dollars, why the f did you stop handing free food out? Mmm. Hold on. The third person. He called me and she was just like, "Now, that would have been a conflict of interest for me, y'all. I ain't gonna lie now, cause I appreciate you, you know, but I could have got way more than two thousand dollars. Especially if you already said something, and a lot of these other people are coming. I don't know. That's a little sticky. That's a little sticky." I, I don't know who this man is. I'm going to give $1,000 to my son, and he'll give y'all whatever it is he see fit out of there. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. I see y'all giving out haircuts. Hey, little brother, yeah. yeah. He wants to give $1,000 to the barber so he can cut he, everybody. Oh, that's my little brother. He wants to go pick up my baby Now, Sweetly Season finally responded oh. to that $4,000 tip left <coughs> by Keith Lee. You know okay. that $4,000 tip that she was supposed to pay out to staff that she didn't. It's because my son asked her to be there, I guess. I don't know. And then she said that she wanted to meet Keith Lee, so she just wanted to be there. Mm. So it wasn't that she was working for me. I'm Wait. Truck, mind you, I'm a worker. This is your business, so I'm doing what you say. She tell me after this person, which is the third person, that you got to start charging again. She really just wanted to be there. For Not done. Lied, mama. I'm going to give my son what he deserves. And I will give her some what she, because she did market me that morning, but that's all she did. Ooh. Oh, my and God. He, No, it is all about money. No, she didn't fumble that bag like that, y'all. She fumbled that bag like that. Do she know the amount of people that would have wanted her food? She sold out. <laughs> she completely sold her whole business out for $2,000. Well, for $4,000 because she kept it, hell. All right, this is the son. He went off. Okay. Let me tell y'all more about this. My first question to Sherelle. Uh-oh. If your brother didn't want to cut the hair for the money, okay, and he was still going to get the money as soon as it's either clear or I can get to the bank out of my personal account and get it to him, why did you go on the internet? The whole discrepancy was her brother wanted the money without working for it. So we can't afford to pay another barber. So it was like, I thought she would understand. But no, she needed this situation to blow up and have a story time to talk about. To go like, viral. Oh, no. He want his money. He not working for it. And y'all going <clears> to <throat> give it to him now. We're going online and telling everybody. Troy, you want to get on the internet and talk about my mom's mothering? How many kids do you have? Ooh. How many kids have I met? Oh, how many kids have I ever heard you even speak about? Oh, it's about three missing. I don't know. I don't know what's their names, what they look like, what oh, they have. Oh, you God. Talk about them. Oops. You can't talk about nobody's mothering. Oh, Lord. Second of all, you came for a clout to meet Keith Lee and to get this picture. That was, that was the only thing you wanted. You didn't even want the thousand dollars. I give you that. All you wanted was the clout. You had a I asked everybody on the live. Keith Lee was watching my live. I don't know if you saw that part. I said, when he gets here, please, y'all, don't have no cameras in that man's face. Don't run up to him. He got social anxiety, just like I do. Don't run And door. he just really don't play none of that. <laughs> like, you know, I met um, Mayweather's sister the other day. And she, she got to talk about Mayweather and all that. I don't even want to hear no more. Listen, friend. Uh-uh. I ain't here for Mayweather. I'm here for you. I'm having fun with you. I don't need Mayweather. I don't need no cameras for Mayweather. I don't need to meet Mayweather. I don't need to come to your house to meet Mayweather. I don't want to meet Mayweather. I'm cool with you. I ain't even no. Child police. You never know. People, people be tripping.
all that. The first thing Sherelle did was point the camera in his face. Uh. Before he even walked into the food truck, the camera was pointed that way, angling on a tripod ready. The first person to post the videos about him being there was Sherelle. I posted the next day after his. I literally had it already filmed in my drafts, and as soon as I saw him post his, I posted mine. And in the video, you hear me say, I don't even know if Keith has posted his review yet. Hmm. Uh -uh. It was already filmed. <clears throat> I didn't need to chase cop off of this situation. I have one goal, a genuine and pure one. Sherelle wants something to make her page pop and to get her name back out there because her followers are glowing. She's not making what she used to make on TikTok. Oh, Lord. So she needed the situation. And me as a friend, noting, knowing what she's trying to do, and I'm going to help you out. Just come help my mom at the event. You know, they're going to be there. You can take some pictures. I never thought she would try to destroy my mom. Oh, so she really wasn't working. Oh, no. And for clout. Now... To be honest, it was some discrepancies with the money. Yes, it was. Why wouldn't there be? Huh? He <laughs> asked for a barber to cut hair for a free <clears throat> for $1,000. And the barber did not want to cut the hair for free for $1,000. The barber didn't want to cut nobody hair for free at all. And I don't think nothing's wrong with that because I wouldn't have wanted to either. A day. A tip is supposed to be extra, not what I was supposed to get paid for the day. So, why are we wrong for finding a barber who wants to do what Keithley asked? And Keithley, huh? you see this? You can tell that I wasn't trying to, you know, be ingenuine. When we met, I did it off camera. Um, I didn't ask you to do a TikTok with me like other people. I didn't clout chase off you at all. I didn't attempt to get any clout at all. at all. I wasn't on live when he got there. I filmed the video privately and saved it in my phone. Check the timestamps on the videos. I did not use this situation for a clout at all. That's her sole intention. So I don't know what all lies she's put out there because I keep seeing a whole bunch of my status talking about he paid for everybody food. He, he at least said I'm paying for everybody food out here. That's what I heard him say out of his mouth. I knew nothing about the $800 worth of food at that time. I didn't know, I didn't hear none of that. I was standing on the side by the generator where it's loud, so I really couldn't see. Huh? But after he left, I immediately left. <laughs> I was standing by the generator where it was kind of loud, so I really couldn't see. <laughs> Yo, that was hilarious. We are hilarious as a people. To go, I have to get to the bank before it closed because I don't have a debit card right now. My bank card got stolen, so I have to go to the physical bank. Keith Lee came around the time we were closing and the bank closes, which is 5 o'clock, 5.30ish. He got there maybe around like 4.45ish, I want to say. I don't know, somewhere around there. When I got back to the truck, I asked Sherelle, did everybody get free food? Sherelle said yes, but one person was trying to get it. An extra cheesecake and all kinds of stuff, so I had to stop. And she said, we close it anyway, so it don't matter. So, Sherelle, was you lying then? Why would you lie and say everybody got food? But now it's only three people. So, which one is it, Sherelle? She literally talking about, you don't want to go talk to me videos on the internet. This is what she wants. She wants back and forth, y'all. She wants to do this to gain more followers. She wants attention. This is all for attention. Her brother probably wanted to cut the hair. She probably said, no, tell me you can't do it just so they shouldn't create this drama. Because this was so unnecessary when I said, when they were making a big... So everybody knows because of her? Is what y'all telling me? Still about him... <laughs> Not cutting the hair and still wanting the money? I said, okay, I'm going to give him $1,000 out of my bank account. Because she can't afford to just give him $1,000 right now just to do anything. And they have to still pay a barber to come cut hair still. No, Keith Lee covered that $1,000, gang. Do everything they need. Come on now. Make it make sense. So I said, I'm going to give him $1,000. Just don't go on the internet. I don't know what you're going on there. She's like, no. I just feel like everybody should know what happened. I'm like, what happened? What oh, was the nah, big deal? that's messed Girl, up. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. What are you talking about? Why are you still in town 
and you said you couldn't cut a hair today. It's now closing the business, and you're here, so you were here all day. You could have came and cut the hair. You could have came eight thousand dollars. It was no excuse. Why are you here? <laughs> go play in somebody else's face. Go lie about somebody else on the internet. Stop using Keith Lee to get attention. It's literally making me look bad. Like literally, it's all this whole thing is because of me. So now she getting all this clout because she's trying to use my. Well, that was the whole reason I was around being your friend, anyways. I literally been telling her I'm around like being friend. your friend anyway. I feel like you're not my real friend. We've been having this time. Sorry, all the text messages. I feel like you haven't been there for me. Like, what's going on with you? Now I know she's never a real friend. She's waiting around for some type of moment. And the first chance she got, she mm. showed her ass. Yeah, that's fucked up. Everything was soft. Your brother was getting the money without having to work for it. Just I ain't going to lie. That's messed up. Like he wanted. Why well, I'm on the internet. The only thing I want to know, if your brother was getting the money, as soon as it cleared, as soon, and, the, and if, if, this is the thing I even offer, if it don't, if it take too long to clear, if it take four or five days, I'm going to go to the bank as soon as I can, and I'm going to get the money. Oh, my I'm God. I'm going to send it to you. Why go on the internet? She want to go viral. Why is everybody talking about us? Why are we Miss Nana and Charles right now? Why? Oh. <laughs> Why? I got to get to Miss Nana and Charles. So this girl wants some clout. So if y'all think that her brother deserved that money without working for it, like Keith Lee said, then y'all delusional and y'all just some Sherelle fans because that makes no sense. And the fact that we was going to pay her brother and still pay another barber so we don't disappoint the community and that's still not good enough for y'all... What y'all want us to do? Like, get out of here. Y'all just want drama and chaos and confusion around us. Okay, that video was... Child, he couldn't even finish. Let me... What did he say? Trey ain't gay? <laughs> That's exactly what that says. Um. So they all are on TikTok. Okay, how many followers? 25. Child, okay, this is the mama, child. Was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Season, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I want Keith Lee to tell me, after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. And just to let y'all know, she's a scammer. Right. Huh? Friend, Keith Lee said to give a thousand to the barber and give a thousand to the braider. And what's crazy is the fact that old girl ain't neither one. <laughs> or am I tripping? Because it turns out she wasn't out there to do nothing. Where the braider? I'm. I'm <sighs> Right players, so that is the owner of Sweetly Season. Now. Oh my god, Hi, I did not mean so to do I that. To down early. It was like <sighs> now, you know why people didn't show up for three hours straight while you were sitting there? It's because you decided to do what you did with that money, allegedly. She must have deleted all her other stuff because I cannot find it. Hi, everybody. Sweetly season. Hi, everybody. Okay. Yeah, that video with the probably because she was live is why I can't find that darn video. Hi, everybody. So I decided to close down early. It was like three oh. hours and no one came. So my question is, and do you think I should have stayed? And if you think so, why? Because gas was steady burning. Huh? Yo. <laughs> What is going on? Okay, last video. Keith Lee. Let's get it. Let's talk about, but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season food truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas, like everybody else found out we was in Dallas. Okay. We was posting videos in Dallas. Mm -hmm. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family went in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. Barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. 
this is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. All right. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post the video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cut hair. That's marketing, but that's not the money. Like, say, for instance, he ended up making more or the barber could have potentially made more than a thousand dollars. Would he have been wrong then? It's just black people, man. We are the worst sometimes. Great hair, y'all all sitting out, y'all having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. But then at five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up and drove. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family's safety in general, I don't ever carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Jail and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far right. as them taking my phone and putting their number in those themselves, I wouldn't hand my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food. It's deeper than the marketing. It's deeper than the customer service. This is one of those cases in my opinion. Size marketing and personal issues also contribute to this. And I think I that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm going to touch on is the son is misconstruing something that I said, and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning, after the money hits, because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash. However, y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement. But it's being misconstrued, in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued, that I see it and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. Mm. <laughs> Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. No, he did not. I never said that. Oh, Regardless God. Of what's going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she ended today. We just ate the food and left a tip, praying in advance that everybody in the situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. Child, if you ain't ready for the heat, baby, you better stay out that kitchen. I'll tell you that. Especially with Keith Lee. That's one of them decisions you got to make when you know you got food. Like when you find out he come, you got to have food on deck for the weekend. For the week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All hands on deck. Girl, he give an announcement. He let everybody know you're there. And if you if your food is good or you got good marketing or you on TikTok, he pulling up. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do y'all think Keith Lee is wrong? Do you think uh, the girl is wrong, the friend or whatever? Or do you think that um, the mama is wrong? And I do want to see if he responded back to Keith Lee. Hey, yo, I want to start this video off by apologizing to Keith Lee. He is someone that I looked up to for so long. I would never intentionally flip his words to work in my favor. I genuinely thought when he left the money for free haircuts that it was for free haircuts, not just to give to the barber. So I can accept as a man that I was loud and wrong, and I apologize. Once Keith Lee made his response video, my mom immediately sent the money to the barber that was originally there. I also reached out off camera to provide a sincere apology. So since now we all got a clear understanding of what Keith Lee wanted, we are taking the initiative to do what's right. This Friday, February 9th, between 1 and 5 p.m., we will be hosting a family and fun community event. We have reached out to a master barber here in Dallas who will be providing quality haircuts, as well as we will be giving out meals to the first 20 customers in line as well as free fried rib samples for it. Yeah, boy. Damn, y'all don't even see it on, um, man, what? On um, TikTok. I mean, on, damn, on YouTube. Hey, yo, I want to start this video off by apologizing to Keith Lee. He is someone that I looked up to for so long. 
I would never intentionally flip his words to work in my favor. I genuinely thought when he left the money for free haircuts that it was for free haircuts, not just to give to the barber. So I can accept as a man that I was loud and raw and I apologize. Once Keith Lee made his response video, my mom immediately sent the money to the barber that was originally there. I also reached out off camera to provide a sincere apology. So since now we all got a clear understanding of what Keith Lee wanted, we are taking the initiative to do what's right. This Friday, February 9th, between 1 and 5 p.m., we will be hosting a family and fun community event. We have reached out to a master barber here in Dallas who will be providing quality haircuts, as well as we will be giving out meals to the first 20 customers in line, as well as free fried rib samples for everyone to try. Speaking of fried, he fried. <laughs> as we take the step to make things right, I only have one request. Can you guys please stop with the threatening phone calls and harassing at my mom's home and place of business? Her address has been leaked and oh my god, just nobody deserves that. Everybody makes mistakes. I humbly and graciously. I don't know how this is a mistake. <laughs> thank you all for a second chance to make things right. Um, I hope to see you all at the event. If there's anything else that we can do to make things right, please feel free to let me know. I'm committed to earning the trust of the community again. I hope he they're gonna have security. My mama ain't gonna be out there and y'all threatening my mama. Oh no. Um, well, what I have to say is um with Keith Lee coming there, like I said, you gotta have like child, you better be prepared, you know what I'm saying, to deal with what whatever come with it. Um, also, you know. God, you got to watch the company you keep because that girl was not in his favor. She was like a snake in the grass, for real. Um, but other than that, that's what I have to say. I pray that their event goes well. I pray that he has, and hell, in Texas, you can carry a firearm wherever you please. So, and you can just walk in and go get one. So, I pray he walk in and go get one. Um, and yes, I just hope that. Um, it goes well for them. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.